Oh my goddess, the wind. So I got on, I was due to take mum to Aldi and due to get my Aldi cream, my caviar cream. Um, but I basically I need to cycle to mum's to pick up the car. Then she gets in the car because obviously she's quite infirm. So she gets in the car. Then we go to Aldi, do a big shop. I wanted to get a week shopping. Come to mine, run upstairs, deposit my shopping in the fridge, run down to the car, take mum home, then cycle back. Now, normally that works really well. But today, I, I could hear a bit of a wind, but I thought, no, there's been no weather warnings. But you see, I've been writing all day, so I haven't actually caught up with the news. Um, I'll do it in a minute. Anyway, I went downstairs and I thought, bloody hell, that's a bit of a wind. And sort of, you know, got out. I had my Michelin suit on, which protects me from the elements. It's really, it's actually ski trousers, but they work fabulously well, um, you know, on the bike. And uh, my neighbour was coming along with her dogs. She'd just been out to walk. She's got three dogs, I think. And uh, she said, oh, you're very brave going out in that. She said, I wouldn't if I was you, to be honest. And I, I was like, what? Oh, really? Is it really bad? She said it was blowing the, the dogs and the, and the kids, you know. Like, oh, my God. So anyway, I said, oh, well, I'll, I'll give it a go. I l got on the bike and I pushed one turn round and the wind blew me off. I mean, I I, la I didn't land in an ungainly fashion on my butt, but, you know, I, I couldn't go anywhere. The wind took my me and my bike, all, you know, nine stone of me, and and wouldn't let me go forward. So um, so we've had to postpone till tomorrow morning. I mean, wow. I've, I've never seen wind like that, guys. It, 87, 1986, rather, my daughter was a f just a matter of months old, maybe six months old. And I think it was about around August and we had a, a bit of a tornado thing going on We and weather warnings. No, the the problem was back then, our, um, because it's a famous um, newsreader now and it's a famous clip that everybody refers to. And he said, a bit, a bit of a wind tonight, but no weather warning. And that has gone down in the annals of history because houses roofs came off you know and we're not used to that sort of thing here in this t I lived in the same town at that point um my dad had a building he had a lot of buildings at one time and he had a building and my brother and his wife lived there and fortunately this one night they were away somewhere because the whole front of their bedroom fell off <laughs> imagine just fell off blew off half of it on the bed and the other half on the street I mean, wow. And I anyway, I said to mum, there are, there's going to be trees uprooted in this. A really, really so windy. So I'll get a weather check in a minute. Um, so what else have I been up to? Oh, exciting things. I've been doing exciting things. I actually Googled. Um, well, no, I didn't Google. I went into my email and there was that dude, Neil Patel, and I'd read earlier, it was, I mean, it's an absolute coincidence, isn't it? It must be, because I'm sure I've blocked him from messaging me. I mean, just, it's not a personal thing. It's a, you know, a, what do they call it? A sort of automated mail drop from, you know, his company. Anyway, he's one of the most successful bloggers. And he makes thousands, thousands a month. And I thought, oh. I mean, he, I, everybody knows who he is now. He's just bloody everywhere. He's so good at SEO. That's all your tags and stuff, your metadata and all that stuff. Um, so I thought, because I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to be a bit a bit more logical and techy and to establish the brand because of my 365 days to get famous. And I thought, if Neil Patel can get famous with, you know, with the most boring subject matter. But, of course, it's not boring for most people. It's actually the what business and tech are way up, way up higher than fiction writing blogs in terms of popularity. So I was thinking, well, what can I, what, what can I do? You know, what can I, how can I incorporate a busy blog into my creativity and my fame game? Um, so, yeah, I was kind of searching. Anyway, I thought, well, I'll click on this mail. I normally just delete mail or I just delete everything. You know, I go in once a fortnight and just delete everything. I mean, I'm always deleting stuff I need. 
Um, and I went in to this one article because it sounded rather interesting. Neil Patel is obviously listening to my brain. He's in my brain. He's listening. He's a spy in my in my makeup, you know, and he knows exactly what I want to, to him to say. If only lots more men knew exactly, <laughs> we might get somewhere. So Neil Patel is, um, I've forgiven him for, for email bombing me for the last 10 years or however long it is. So his thing was five prompts to give your a to give open chat AI, which I use all the time. Not for storytelling. I use it for other things. I use it for blog writing quite a lot. Um, and he had five things written down. Now, my chat AI is the cheap version. Well, no, it's the free version. <laughs> and it's really annoying because it's always saying, as of my last update in 2022 or whenever it was, I think it was 2020, I don't know, whenever it was, um, I am unable to share or you. what you need to do is go to the blogs. And I thought, well, that, that's your bloody job, you stupid chat AI thing. So the first one didn't work. The first um, thing, which was, uh, I think it was like, some. It, you, basically you tell it, it's a really good thing actually, you tell it to write an introductory in a story fashion, like a fiction story fashion, and then write the rest of the blog, citing references and websites. And I thought, oh, can my AI do that? Because it's so old. Anyway, I asked it one question and it said, as of my last update, and I thought, I'm just going to fucking throw you across the room in a minute. Um, and I thought, well, no, let's ask another one. So I asked it one about Kindle and it knows loads of things about Kindle. So I thought, well, maybe it's, you know, more to do with um, big sites that were there a couple of years ago and are still there, you know. So he, ha it, I, it's, it's, it's definitely a he, my AI. Definitely a he. Because it, it's, it's stubborn <laughs> and it doesn't understand me. It's definitely a man, OK? So, um, I mean, obviously, I'm, I feel like we're in an intense relationship at the moment because I'm using him a lot. But I would definitely like to upgrade him. Definitely. But I can't afford it. So like many, many a wife on the planet... We have to make do with what we've bloody well got, OK? <laughs> anyway, occasionally he comes up with real gems and occasionally I have some great fun. And I do find him very useful when I need a bit of writer's inspiration because he'll produce something for me and it's utter crud. And I think, oh, my God, that is so bad. I'm going to completely rewrite it. And the act of rewriting enables me to create something utterly fantastic. So in a way... He is the man behind the successful author. <laughs> but only in a way, because he's annoying and he gives me the impetus. What? God, he's... Do you know what? I think Romeo is slightly disturbed by the wind outside. He was lo looking out the window and he gets rather anxious because all these trees are moving and he can't get them. <laughs> Don't you, darling? What's the matter? A bit chilly? It does feel quite chilly. He's probably been in a draft somewhere. Um. So, yes... Uh, this way of using AI I found really, really interesting. And I was able to bang out a few, a few um, blog, in, blog, you know, blogs, blog pages and stuff. But I still, I'm still a bit lost as to what I can do to draw people in to, to make an absolutely fantastic, exciting, viable blog, you know, that people come and visit every single day. Yeah. I mean, I, I asked my AI what was the what were the most popular blogs done by Kardashian, and it came out that my, as of my last update. Bloody remark! Can't stand it. Um, and I asked it about one of the best-selling bloggers. I can't even remember what his name is. I think it began with O, and uh, he he does a business blog. And it, it didn't give me anything on that either. But as soon as I started talking Kindle, it was he was absolutely fine. But do people want to come to my blog? And I'll get bored of that. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you've got to do a blog that's really exciting. And, you know, it comes back to, well, look, what's really exciting? The stories. I write, I'm a fiction writer. I write poetry and stories. And that should be, those should be the things that draw people in. So, 
Anyway, with that in mind, oh, all right, cuddles, here you go. Cuddles, here, come on. Um, if I recite the poetry, but visually, so I'm going to set up my, t you know, for my TV, but little shorts, you know, sexy shorts, funny, sexy, limerick type po poems. Oh, what? And he just wants cuddles all the time. Um, so I've bought some wigs. I'm just getting round. I'm in a real waffle today. I'm just getting round to what I wanted to tell you. I went to AliExpress to see how much wigs were and they were loads, loads cheaper than anywhere else. So I've ordered three and they're all white. And I'm going to try and get some of those scissors that you use to thin the hair so that I can cut them a bit shorter. Um, and what I've done is I've got ones with bangs, as the Americans say, as we say, fringy bits, but not short, not a short fringe going right across. They're sort of kind of really long, but you can cut them yourself. And what that does is it stops that awful join at the head. But the other thing you can do on AliExpress is you can look at the reviews and you go to photographic reviews, reviews with photographs, right? And you can click on them and you can see real people wearing the wigs. And I mean, some of these girls are like gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, if you're a guy, you'll have a field day just window shopping on, on Wish because some of the clothes the girls wear as well and you're like, blimey. So, guys, yes, three wigs, all white, really exciting that I can wear over my braids when I get bored of them because the thing with braids is they're always the same every single day I wake up with the same haircut and that has started to be a little bit boring but I do think my trademark should be white hair I really do um so yeah I've bought three really excited and cannot wait for those to arrive so I'll be doing my keep fit in um my, or my burlesque keep fit classes in in long white wigs so um, I hope you're, you know, riveted and go to my, my website, tailteller.club, no, tailtellerclub.com even. Um, and, you know, I'm going to try and make it really interesting. The seven rules of fame, which I did a podcast about this morning, um, I'm going to go down the list in a minute and check I've done everything. Um, I've offered sponsorship deals. So if, if you would like me to sponsor you for a month... I can share and interview you and talk about your stuff on my blog um, for a month. I'm not saying I'll do it every day for a month, but you'll be all your links will be available or down the side of the page, um, in my, well permanently for my blog actually, uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think that's a really nice, a really nice idea. So I did put all that information up on Twitter as well. So if you're if you're a writer or a filmmaker, or a, some kind of creative content creator. Um, I'm, I'm preferring, I think, to go slightly more mainstream than, you know, really underground, which I've, al I've always preferred the underground. I mean, you know, it's so much easier for someone like me to be underground and radical and see the good in everything. But I think now, now that I'm selfishly selfishly on this trajectory of 365 days of becoming famous I think I need to be a little bit more accessible and being accessible means not putting people off with your weird shit <laughs> doesn't it so I'm going to try and be as normal as as I can bear to be I mean it's going to be hard don't get me wrong you know these things are difficult are they not um do you know what else I fancy doing tonight a bit of tattooing so I haven't tattooed for a while. Let's finish off the peacock. Um, it's had some healing time. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a bit of peacock tonight. So uh, I'll see you over there on Vimeo, yeah? But I'll do a little clip and I'll pop that on YouTube as well. It's all free. Because as part of my 365 Getting Famous routine, I need to give free stuff out all the time. So um, not that that's anything new, but do you know what I mean? So there'll be loads of loads of nice free stuff as well. And also, actually, just quickly, I'm going to start doing working on fake skin as well. Guys, I love you loads. Thank you so much for listening. I am Iserverland and this is Telltale Club.